Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. That's, that's probably a better thing. Right, so if I'm going to do that, I'll remove those two trees. The next question we've got to ask is, do I want to remove those two trees now and deal with that? I'm not going to bring the edge of the field any lower, even if I do go and move the track. So it's not going to make any difference to the field. It's going to be quite a wide piece there. I don't think we need to be shunting any of that in there. Um, pretty sure I did go and repair the plow already, but I will put it back in here and we'll just see. I'm 90% certain I did already repair the plow. Uh, I can repair this one while I'm here. Oh, yeah, I did repair it, and then we used it a little bit more afterwards. Okay, and now we go back over this way. I will turn the plow over, because I want to take the field around this side. Go on up here, and this is where the field is going to be, kind of roughly up this height. I don't really want to come down any further than that. Uh... Where do I want this? I should we do it that way? Right. Allow create fields. Drop it in. And we'll start trying to pull out an edge here. Where we want the new field to end up. So that one's going to go across here in pretty much a straight line now. that and then it'll meet up with that corner that we've got over this side right on there if I've got to do a little bit of tidy up work on this one I will don't need to fantastic excellent I like that right we'll go up to the top and carry on with the field up here so this track that we've got coming up to this point will go out onto the road after this so i'm actually going to bring the edge of the field i'm going to mark the edge of the field it's all going to come over from here so if we go back to our landscaping we will come back for those trees i'm just not going to worry about them right now because we've done i've had enough of trees for a minute and we change this over like this and where are we going to come out? I would say, basically, we just want to come out here somewhere. Like that. Just have this as rough and we can go in between the posts right there. That's fine. Plenty of farmers that will just sort of pop out onto the edge of the road like that. And... And I can go along here. So I don't want to go too close to that road with this job so I'm not gonna do the outside edge along here just yet I'm just gonna kind of sidle up that way little bit by little bit all the way along here what we might do is just do this one backwards and forwards a few times until we've got the right place this here I was actually thinking that we would just keep this as a straight line all the way across on this corner Bring it round like that. Now go up to the corner up here and then we will turn round. So here I'm happy to go a bit closer to that fence there in by the garden. I definitely don't want to go any closer to those trees there. This is the outside edge of where I want to go right here. So we'll turn it round, spin the plow over. And then we'll come back down this way over here. So we drop the plow in. And just bring it out round like that. So the big shrub in the corner, we may not end up touching that one at all. This bit just along here. I might actually have the landscaping remove some of this. Because I'm not going to want to go very much further in. I don't want to actually have official field in that little dip that we've got right in there. Seems like the right thing to do. 
I really hate that we've got those um, house houses right there in the garden sort of stuck out. Bugs me, that was. Gone out that far. And this one here, if we just go in a nice straight line along here like this, that is as close to that road as I think we need to be getting. I don't think we need to go any further than that. Let's just have a look here. We can pick up and... Yeah, we don't want to go any closer than that. Getting any closer to the road than that is just going to end up causing us some issues, isn't it? And, I mean, I could just tidy up this little corner a little tiny bit right here. But again, I don't want to get too close to the hedgerows here and the, the corners. So I can go there. It's a little bit closer than I would otherwise. And keep that in a straight line going up there. I'm going to regret that choice right there, I think. And then this one here. The reason I'm going to regret it is because if... Well, I'm not actually planning to do much combining, but if we're using the AI extension, it'll try and straighten up going around that corner, and that's the bit that's going to potentially cause us trouble later on. So I'm not going to do any more closer to that hedge right there. The big shrub that we've got just next to us here, that can stay. And then if we very quickly go into landscaping now, we will... Spin that one around like that and go up here. So I do want to get rid of these. So the way we will do that is if we tab through and we go to just the plain grass right there, we'll make this into the small option and we'll just re basically we just replace those shrubs with a bit of grass just on that corner right there. I'm also going to do it down through here, just replacing that plowed edge there. I want to remove it. I want to keep that straight all the way down through to here. So it's just the extra bit of ploughed edge. All the way up through. Yeah, like that. And of course I wanted to also get rid of these shrubs in here. Like that. So let's get rid of the ploughed edge there. Back this way. Thing is, that ploughed edge, this is not in line with how the field comes out. So the ploughed edge does end up looking a little bit odd up through here. I'll bring that there. I did say that I wouldn't mind that being a bit closer, but she thinking like this is, is not a bad thing. No. I don't like that. Let's uh, lift you up. I will bring it a little bit closer. Not very much, but I'm not happy with what I just did there, so we'll go back over it. And that's the good thing about doing it with grass, is that it doesn't actually look out of place. It's just I'm not happy with the edge of it, that's all. So we'll pop that one in there, and then I'll run my plow up through here and just kind of pull that line in through with the plow rather than me trying to do it with the mouse there. That's a lot better. We won't do any more, and the big shrub in the corner gets to stay. So now we come out round over this side, and I don't really want to extend this out very much. Just kind of tidy out the edge of the field just along here. It's just a, a run down through. Just kind of like that. There's a bit right there. I'm pretty sure that's actually just ordinary ploughed land. That didn't get quite picked up. So there's not much new land that I'm making here, but that's because of the edge of the field anyway. I don't want to go too close to that. It's just going to end up causing us trouble if I get too close to the road because of the like the, the slopes on the edge of it and, and stuff like that. So we'll just stay away from there. For once... I'm actually being a little bit sensible. Now, as we head over this way, though, I am definitely cutting in. Now, we've got a great big stone ahead of us, so I want to just ese off to the left there. I'm going to come this way. So I keep a nice, gentle curve on the field, but I am going to push in 
quite close to that stone. If that stone goes under the ground really close to where I've just gone through, uh, that's potentially going to cause us a load of trouble. I just have to hope that it doesn't. And then we come in like this. And now I've got to kind of stay with judging where the road is coming through and where that is potentially causing us issues. Along here. Alright, so the ground's a bit uneven just there, but I don't think it's so uneven that's going to cause any problems. And then I can go pretty much in a straight line where I am now. We did do quite a bit of leveling work just on that earlier. So I'm out from those shrubs, which means that we won't be having anything to do with them. We won't be touching those. Now there is a bit here, just as I'm now coming up to it, that I'm curious about. Oh no, that's, it looked like it might potentially be a bit rough there. There's a shrub there that I will go back and clean up later. So there's quite a chunk between us and the road here, but I am, I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to bite right into it and get really tight to the road. Again, I know I'm as shocked as you are by the fact that I'm trying to be sensible about this. Another great big stone there, so I'm going to aim for that shrub right there. How could I not? And then we take this down in a line here, running alongside these trees, but far enough away from them that they shouldn't cause us any issues. Now, they probably will end up annoying us big time as we progress, and we'll probably end up removing them completely. But for now, we won't. So then I can come down here. Now, at the moment, this isn't too steep down here but as we get towards those two trees there we do want to keep the field up a bit away from them which is going to sort of be heading across this way about there I think now this is actually further back from the edge than it was previously previously it did head further down the the, the field than this down the hill I mean And you come round over here like this, and because I've now gotten rid of that one down there, I can actually pull this a little bit closer to the edge of the bank that we got here. Bring that along. And then I'll join up there. And we have taken a tour around the fields. We've done one bit of it that we've got kind of all lined up. If I keep going along here... There we go, it's just kind of like tidied out the edge just a tiny bit. So we've got some steep patches in this field. And I'm completely and totally ploughing this the wrong way. So we'll now lift out and we'll start doing just backwards and forwards on this lower slope right here. And then once we've done that we can go up and we can start working on the top slope. It's not all that much that we've got to do up there, so let's lift you out. Actually, no, I don't want to turn you over at all. Or do I? Yes, I do. I do. Because I, I want it, it. What we're actually wanting to do is we want it to be turning uphill. Now, I realise that in game that doesn't affect it in the slightest, but real life you would be wanting to turn this uphill. So I like to try and simulate some stuff. I mean, we are playing a simulator. So we'll, we'll turn uphill. I'll do this little chunk here and we can kind of like just work our way back around the field then. Also what I might do is go and get the other tractor once we've done this chunk down the bottom and start spreading the lime on the field again. Because I do want to spread all it. I know that we're planting grass in here so technically we don't need to worry about the lime until later. Oh. Thinking about that? Maybe it would be better if we don't put lime on here yet. You know, if we go and put a different crop in, then we will. But at the moment, as far as I know, lime doesn't actually affect the yield of grass. Um, according to all of the tests and research that has been done by some fabulous people over on my Discord channel, uh, 
they, they, they looked into that a lot. There was a lot of testing done, and it does appear that lime has no impact on grass yield. Let's bring that one back up here. So we'll just do a quick fall and back just here on that bit. A couple passes. And then we can do full lengths. And then there's one little strip. It's like a plow's width that we'll take as we head up the other way. Go on, off you go. I should be glad to stop ploughing once we've done all of this. I mean, it's don't get me wrong, I've actually enjoyed this. It's, it's been quite a change of pace to just doing contracts over and over again. But it starts to get a bit uh, tedious after a while doing the ploughing. And I've never been all that keen on ploughing. I, I like doing a little bit, especially when it's creating the new fields. But there's quite a few people who... Um, play this game. There's quite a few people who play this game who don't generally, who really, really enjoy doing the plowing. I know this because you said in the comments. I get quite a few people saying in the comments, I, yeah, you know, you, you were saying about, you know, the plowing being really boring. That's actually my favourite part. I really, really love the plowing. Um, you know, plowing at just plowing a field in general they like but plowing a field from scratch uh like starting it off and and just working your way through it some people find like really really relaxing and therapeutic and and so on and i don't mind it at times but i mean it does start to get a bit tedious i mean i guess it's it's different what you do if you put on a bit of music and you're just chilling out listening to music and um, zoning out a bit as you're busy plowing your, your your new field up and down that's a bit different to me trying to do this while also talking to people and, and trying to keep the entertainment running so you know the, the, the two entirely different things really um, if I'm playing it on my own and I'm just kind of like chilling out and relaxing and, and not doing very much, then yeah, I don't mind it, I guess. I I mean, personally, I prefer grass work and driving a baler. Actually, there's something about driving a baler, like going into all of the rows on the fields and making putting in a whole load of bales, working my way through the whole lot. Um, there's something about that that I actually I, I quite enjoy. I, I, I do find that to be quite entertaining. Let's bring you back around over here. And that's about it, I think. We just got this one pass over here. And we've done this little section here. We can go right on round back towards the yard. And then we can start working on the bottom edge of the field down over there. Let's just bring you back through that way. There we go. Why aren't you picking up? I don't know why it's not picking up, but it wasn't. And then we go back over here. So we've got that chunk of the field done over there. We'll come back over here, and we want to be thinking about getting that other one back over this side. The electric tractor. We want to be thinking about bringing that one back over here in a minute. Let's get the edge pulled in round. This is where we were doing a little bit of the... Um, landscaping, just like smoothing it all out on the edge of the field right here. So we've already ploughed some of this, and we're just going to do it again. Although, I mean, technically we didn't do this. This was what the hired help was working on, so it's not like we've um, got a whole load extra suddenly that we've uh, got a whole load that we're repeating. It was the hired help that did that bit. I'm going to have the plough over this side a second, and run round here and pull a second pass around the outside edge. It makes it easier for doing the edges and turning round and stuff when we need to. We're less likely to go over the side and make an absolute mess of everything. Which I really, really don't want to do. Um, and then we can get that. Yeah, so. I'm... I'm, I'm in an iron. I, I, I really don't know if I should... No, okay, we're, we're not going to do the lime. We'll get the, the bit of lime that's there. We'll move that out of the way. 
we will not worry about lime at this point. We will leave the lime. No more lime. And then uh, we can deal with lime some other time uh, if, you know, if and when the crops demand it in this field. But at the moment, with the grass, no, we will leave it. I know I've done the ploughing. Ploughing doesn't actually need to be done technically, but I wanted to do it at the same time as I wanted to enlarge the field and smooth and uh, remove trees and sort of do this whole thing all at once. So I figured we might as well plough the middle of the field as well, and that would get rid of those shrubs that are there. Plus, uh, we also wanted the little piece for potatoes. Now, if we do decide a bit later on that we want to increase the amount of potato land that we're growing, then yes, we will just go back over it with lime. I think we've got potential to do that. So, I mean, the idea is that I wanted to work towards getting animals up here. I wanted to work towards getting cows. Um, realistically, with the time that we got left, I'm recording this at the end of August, although I'm well aware that I think I'm like almost two weeks ahead, so you may not get this until the middle of September. So we've only got about six weeks left. There's six weeks worth of episodes left. Realistically, we're not getting cows. Not before FS22 comes out. I'm not planning to split my series between FS19 and FS22. Once the new game comes out, all other series will stop and I will start new stuff on FS22. There won't be a hardcore series to start with. There will just be one series on one map that um, won't be about realism, hardcore, anything like that. It's just going to be me kind of playing the game as and how I want. And uh, we will wait for some mod maps to be released. Once there's some new maps released, then I will go with one of those. I mean, if Giants, you know, drop a bombshell and release three maps then I may very well start a hardcore series early. Um, okay. Did I turn that round? Oh, no, I do want it this way. Of course I want it that way. Yeah, that's, that's the way that I want it. Um, I may very well start the next hardcore series uh, sooner if Giants release three maps when the new game comes out but as far as I know there are no plans to do that they'll be releasing a new map and they will be doing this map I think this is what I've heard so far this map will be released and one new map with the new game so if there's three maps then I will do three series I'll do a hardcore series on one map and I will do uh, kind of like my um, players I want mess around, not worry about realism at all on the other one. And then the third one will have the time lapse series. I'm not going to do a normal playthrough series on the map that I'm doing the time lapse on. If this map is re released for FS22, there's a very good possibility that I will use that one for doing the time lapse. And. The new one we will do with the um, with the normal series, and then if there isn't any other maps, we will wait until some mod maps come along, and when there's a decent one that's turned up, we will start a new hardcore series. So this one here, really, I think we're gonna try and focus for the last. Uh, sort of month and a half that we've got for this one two months i can't remember exactly when in november the new game's coming out to be honest so we could have a good two months yet um what do you what would you like to see me accomplish on this one do you want to see some cattle turn up do you want me to kind of like push more with growing potatoes and really sort of become a root crop baron on this one just in the last little bit of time that we got when we're running some experimental ideas with getting our first harvest in but i definitely don't want that to be our standard harvesting mo uh we would like to be able to harvest a lot more efficiently than picking them up with a link box on the back of the tractor. So we're going to be pushing towards that. Um, I guess the only thing that we'll be doing at the moment that would be any different to anything... Go on. 
uh, is we'll see this we will see this back over so we've got grass back in here again and then we can go and make a whole load of uh, silage again at the BGA so there is some decent income to be made there at the BGA if we can bring that lot in and that's that's definitely not going to be a bad thing if we can have our income from the silage from there that's going to push us very quickly towards getting some slightly bigger machinery here for doing the potatoes. One is going to be a bigger tractor. Now, I know a lot of you have actually said that you'd like to see me with bigger tractors. Um, we can get second-hand tractors, loads of mods for cheap tractors. It's always about finding that balance with the cheap tractor. Um, just because it's a mod and the mod it comes along priced at that, there are mods where you can get a case quad track for... 100 euros or 100 dollars or whatever your currency is set at so just because the mod has the price set at that doesn't necessarily mean just because we can doesn't mean we should long story short so i'm kind of like i'm always a little bit wary of going for mods that are a little bit too cheap but on the other side of the coin we're going to want some power to be pulling the potato harvester if we're going to go that way so get in the comments and give me some comments so what, what do you want to see for the last couple of months of this series do you want me to really try and push to get the cows or should we sort of stick more towards um turning this land into the big potato barren uh sort of yeah the big, big potato growing property we, we will become the potato baron so we, we can do either. I don't really mind. I, I can work towards either. And also, for the next hardcore series, something that a lot of people say is that I keep going for the new machinery and I should be going for older machinery. So with the next hardcore series, do you think that I should give myself a loan and sort of start off with a farm i know that some of you have actually stated quite clearly that you'd like to see me carving a farm again from the wilderness but maybe we're not quite so many restrictions to start with i don't particularly like the idea of having to cut down um two and a half thousand trees in order to make the space for it because it is a rather tedious business and it slowed things down an awful lot um, I know that it was it's supposed to be hardcore, but there's hardcore and there's um, just repetitive. And that started off as hardcore, but it quickly grew to be more repetitive than anything else. Which is um, why I definitely didn't want to do it for this one. So what kind of thing would you like to see for the next one? Because obviously I need to start planning these things a bit in advance now i don't have any mod maps to look at or anything like that but we also i can then keep an eye out for the type of map that people want to see um did you like the whole contracting idea do you think that we shouldn't be doing a uh, contract and we should be worrying about our own land uh, maybe we should own a chunk of land already in the next series um we are allowed to have loans uh maybe we're not allowed to buy anything and we have to lease everything which i know for a fact is a really difficult challenge or at least it was in fs17 because i did try to do that in fs17 and i couldn't make any money on it because leasing the tractors ended up being too expensive unfortunately folks that is all we have got time for today a massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the great book of names to find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video then please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later